Are you ready for a question? Sam from the Telegraph. Well, I started extremely well again. Um, dominated the game, dominated the pitch, and scored two beautiful goals. And after that, we made a, a huge mistake. So stop playing with the same purpose to score the third and the fourth one, and just think that uh, we can play them around them and and maintain that result and uh, and just looked too easy. And on that moment, we give them hope and credit to West Ham because they took it. Um, they did what they did really well. They started to play extremely direct. From there, they went to a long throw. From them, a corner, and we really struggled to get out of of that game. And um, and if you don't going to defend your box the way you should in the two goals that we concede, um, then you have to do many more things much better for longer periods in the match. And then there is another moment when you can go after 50 minutes 3-1 up and probably the game is over and two minutes later you concede the goal. But this is part of football. My worry is after 2-0 that uh, we make that huge mistake um, and don't understood what the game required in that moment. How do you explain that? Easy to do it from outside the pitch. You have to be a player. You have to feel it there, and um, and we have to understand those emotions as well. But uh, we need that ruthless mindset in that moment to go and kill a team. When a team is there for the given, uh, you have to. We have to kill it, and and today we haven't done it. And when you don't do that in the Premier League, at some stage it's going to turn around. They're going to have some momentum, and and then you have to defend. For example, the second goal much better than what we did. If not, you don't win the game. Nick. Does it concern you that this, this week's game and last week's game tend to follow a very similar pattern? Well, the pattern in terms of the is different. In terms of what happens, it was very different. Um, but you have to accept that. And uh, that's the last thing that we want in our brains is to not have the confidence that after having the possibility to kill the game, don't do it. And that's the next stage. When you are there, you have to do it. And you have to play with the same purpose or more and not give them anything. Do you think at 2-1 there was a bit of a psychological hangover from last week? It can happen. But again, you're telling that what goes every through every mind is, is probably different. Um, but we all knew we were at half time what we have to do and, and try to do it better. And it's true. And credit to West Ham when they start to play that game. If they are efficient in those first two balls, it is difficult because you have to fight and earn the right to play. But when we did it, especially with the changes, then you have to have more composure to finish the game. Dan? Yeah, is, it, is it concerning for you as a coach that you weren't able to reverse that change in your team's mindset? How, how can you get into For sure, because we are here to win. And when you are able to play at that level and then you drop your level to here uh, so quickly, the game is there. You know, when any opponent are going to be able to do that. So for sure, we have to dig really deep in there um, and, and find the solutions to that. How significant do you think the last six days have been for your side and the race For the race of the Tatar, I have no idea. And I didn't have an idea seven weeks ago or 12 for what is going to happen in three weeks. Uh, my biggest task is go again and train really well and on Friday play at the same level that we played the first 30 or 35 minutes against a team that is fighting for the life or against the Liverpool team, but do it much for a longer period and then kill the game. Gary? Sorry? Fatigue wise, no, because the, what we produced in the first, second half against Liverpool it was similar, and today we put uh, higher inputs in the second half than in the first half. We were slower in everything that we did. Uh, but fatigue, I don't think the, the, the team is fatigued or, or look fatigued. Um, and the best way to put it is just convince them how good they are and when they do what they have to do. And this is what we have to put in our brains. OK, we'll do the last couple. Kaya? It really seems to turn after West Ham's penalty. Um, why do you think it has such a big impact this time? Because the team's been quite good at bouncing back from adverse situations. Well, because... After we could not control uh, what West Ham was proposing and um, and they considering goals away from home, you can see two or three goals away from home, it's extremely difficult to, to win football matches as we did and, and we have to blame ourselves there how we defended the boxes. Do you think the pressure at this stage the season I would say yes if I see a team from the beginning playing <laughs> when I see a team playing with that flow. It does not. And a tuner certainly is not the pressure, is that we really misunderstood what the game required in that moment. 
And finally, we'll go to Crossy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.